Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pipe Squash channel. And today, I'm gonna start off with a little rant. Uh, it's not gonna go in that Squatch is pissed off uh, playlist, but I am kind of mad because the first Game of Thrones review I did, which showed absolutely no nudity, didn't even show any sex scenes in that thing. And the most I did was make a joke that had a little innuendo in it, got flagged on YouTube for community guidelines. Community guidelines related to nudity and pornography. I did the appeals process and it's back up on YouTube now. Once, of course, if somebody looked at it, they would see that I did nothing of the sort, which means one thing. Most likely somebody out there saw it, they didn't like it, and instead of just giving a thumbs down, they decided to report me for, for absolutely nothing. That being said, if you watch my videos and you give me a thumbs down, I, Great, fine. There's all kinds of different people in the world. But don't report somebody who's trying to do something cool in a community, uh, that's trying to be a part of a community, just because you didn't like a review they did or like a video they did. I thought it was ridiculous. Don't know who it was. I, I can't find out who it was. I can't even find out if that's what happened, but most likely that's what happened. Because once it was reviewed, it was back up on YouTube like that. Hmm. Anyways, now for the fun stuff. Today, I'm gonna to do a review on a tobacco that I found out through one of our fellow YTPC guys, uh, Waves of Java. It's from the Mission Pipe Shop in San Jose, California. And if you can't tell by who I got it from, Waves of Java, um, it's Java, Java Pipe Tobacco. When he was talking about it, it sounded intriguing to me because one of my favorite aromatics, I don't have a lot of aromatics I like anymore, is the Cornell and Deal Mocha which kind of has like a chocolatey, coffee, caramelly, hang on, it says, espresso and a half dark chocolate on a black Cavendish base. That's the C&D mocha. The Mission Pipe Shop says Java. It just says Java. On their website, this is such a pain in the rear that I have to enter my birth date every time I log on. Why can't they realize, oh, they should only have to do that if they buy stuff. So, the description of Java on the website, it says, this blend was developed for those who enjoy a rather full-bodied mixture which has a sweet flavor and a great aroma. It has a reach, reach, not reach, rich, rich, not a reach. It has a rich, pleasant room note, and that it does. I have, yes, I know, I started off my Dagner pipes with Englishes, and it may ghost it, but Honestly, I bet I've smoked two pipes from this job already. The first one I did in the Dagner pipe, it did have a little ghosting of an English. The second one, it's gone completely. But I'll be honest, that little ghosting of Latakia with this Java, I may mix me up a bag with some Latakia in it too. I took my one of my Zippo lighters I've had for years that somebody uh, made me, means a lot to me. Uh, it's got a little dragon on it and stuff. I don't know if you can see it little shell casing on the top and I ordered one of those Amazon uh, pipe lighter that comes out of the side like that uh, inserts so far it's worked really well I kind of like it I may get the one that has the hole on the back too and that when you click it it stays on like a zippo because this the gas doesn't come out when it's open with that little lever it's just a little clicker let's light this thing up get a char light flavor off of it mm. That was just the char light. Waves of Java, I know exactly why you named yourself Waves of Java. I messaged him uh, yesterday or the day before, and I said, I'm thinking of changing my name to Java Squatch. I'm kidding, I'm leaving it Pipe Squatch. But this stuff is that good. I dare to say, so far, my favorite aromatics have been the Mocha up there and Molta Dolce by Sutliff. This Java, may blow them both out of the water. It's not anything extraordinary. I know the Malta Dolce has that really cakey, sweet dessert smell. Boom, hits you right in the face. The room note is amazing too. It's a very strong, sweet, desserty type thing. This is way different. It has a very smooth flavor to it. It's a almost like if you get a coffee and you just add a little bit of creamer and sugar in it, and then some chocolate, dark chocolate, unsweetened dark chocolate. Sometimes I get a little hint of cinnamon, 
Uh, maybe because Waves of Java told me he gets hints of cinnamon, but whatever it is, I love this stuff. Mm. The room note is absolutely outstanding. I've, I've tried, like I have other ones, to get this to bite. A lot of other ones I've done, they bite. They bite hard. To the point where I couldn't smoke anything and taste it for two days. This stuff has little to no tongue bite at all. And for aromatic, that's pretty, pretty rare. At least in my experience. The tobacco flavor I'm getting in there is almost, it's almost mild cigar-like but with that coffee and just, and when I say sweetness, I'm talking very little sweetness, but it's the right amount. It's the perfect amount. And there I'm getting that cinnamon. I'm definitely getting it. It's not a placebo effect because he said that. I'm definitely getting cinnamon in it. Getting the coffee, the coffee. I'm trying to say coffee and java at the same time. The kava, but that's a whole nother video for something else. But that job of flavor, that, that coffee flavor is coming through. I don't care what you say, this stuff is outstanding. My hands down, oh, that's hard for me to say because I really love Molto Dolce and I really love Mocha. Still like Mocha, but Java may be pushing its, pushing Mocha out. Cause there's times when Mocha has some weird flavors that go bing and I'm, it's not bad, but it's just kind of like, whoa, what was that? Kind of threw me up. This stuff is smooth. This is my third pipe I've smoked of it. Every single one from the char light to the end has been smooth, consistent, and awesome. Will this make it in my regular rotation? Yeah. <laughs> yes. It is really, really good. I ordered, I think, two ounces of it probably going to order a good pound of it. If you want to order your own, go to missionpipe.com. You can order it on there. Let me see. You can order it in, you can order it in two ounces, eight ounces, or 16 ounces. Two ounces is $7 right now. Eight is 26 and 16 is 52. A pound of this stuff for 52 bucks is pretty dang good. That's a really, really good deal. In fact, I may order that now. My opinion, would I recommend you buying it? Hell yeah. Yep, 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 yep. The room note on this is really, really good. It's it's one that smells kind of like a coffee shop that also sells and lets you smoke nice cigars in it. That's actually a good idea. I need to make one of those. This is great stuff. Do I recommend it? Heck yeah. I'm going to finish this bowl before I do another video. And uh, until then, keep your pipes loaded with Java. Slow down, philosophize, and enjoy life. See you guys.